Dollar Scholar here. We got a pack of $30 scratchers. Bought this at Arco gas station back in January, so I've been meditating on it since January. Cashier was tripping out. She's like, are you sure you really want a $900 pack of scratchers? I said, yeah, that's, we're gonna at least get, you know, half the money back on it, no problem. So I bought this brick of scratchers, the $30 ones. They're sealed. And, you know, at least 10 of the 30 are gonna win. Here's a couple of winners from other roles, just other gas stations. We already know that they're winners because we tried to scan the barcodes in the second chance drawing. It wouldn't accept them. So we know they're winners. So anyway, been meditating on this brick since January, sending out positive vibes, maximum positive thinking in the universe. And that's how you and that's how you get success in this world. Negative people, they don't go anywhere in life. So we're gonna we're gonna unveil this. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna scratch the barcodes. We're gonna see which ones are losers, which ones are winners. Then we're gonna meditate on the winning stack some more. Then we're gonna scratch them. That's Trump style for me. Make America Great Again, Trump 2016. So these are also winners that I've been meditating on. Ten dollars set for lives. $20 the platinum. So we got five, six, seven winners already. We're gonna scratch those. I've been meditating on those for months. They're already known winners, but we don't know how much yet. And this freaking brick could hold a $10 million jackpot. So we are going to unveil the first live on camera jackpot winner. Don't think anyone's ever recorded a jackpot winner before as they scratch so we're gonna see if we can do that today there's one winning 10 million dollar ticket still out there this game has expired they don't sell it anymore I've been sitting on this for six months seven months actually eight months it was it was January 2nd look at this again January 2nd I bought this and the lady I've seen I've seen her a bunch of times since she's like have you scratched those yet I'm like no no and she, she can't understand like what are you doing you spent nine hundred dollars on that it's no hurry I'm increasing the chances more and more the more I meditate on it. So uh, we're gonna do this now, and we're gonna see how many of the, how many are there? I think there's 30. Yeah, there's 30 of them. We're gonna see how many are winners. The odds say cash prize is one in every 2.62. So more than 10 of them are gonna be winners. And we're gonna meditate on those and see if we can't get the $10 million jackpot. There's one left out there. Prizes remain, says one left on the California Lottery website. And we got till December to actually cash them. So here we go. And this is the next video coming up too. The Trump bumper stickers, how we tried to give them away, just like we had a stack of Hillary Clinton bumper stickers too. Where are they? Well, they're all gone. Everyone loves them. Everyone puts them on their cars. But what about all the Trump supporters who I tried to give all these, these stickers to? That, the results of that experiment is the only poll results that you need to believe in. They're the only accurate ones. All the other polls out there are BS, fake, unreliable, and not accurate, and they mean nothing. Here we go. This thing's been sealed since January when I got it from Arco. From, be, from under the glass display. I said, give me a roll. I'm feeling positive just sparks coming from this thing. Look at it, let's see what's happening here. Let's see how tall this can get. This is like a Houdini, huh? Like a magician taking things out of the hat. Let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna scratch all 30, just the barcodes, so we'll get that done real quick and we'll find out which of these 30 are winners and one of them is going to hold the 10 million dollar jackpot because we're going to manifest it into reality and this is going to be the first documentation of a jackpot winner live on youtube crashed all 30 barcodes and now we're going to scan the barcodes with the california lottery app and we'll see how many of these 30 are winners i've already been sitting on eight winning tickets for months now so here we go Scan ticket. I've submitted 71 scratchers already for August. 
and here we go. So scan ticket, and boom. The code you submitted is invalid. This could mean the code was entered incorrectly or it's a winner. It is a winner. I already know that that means it is a winner. This could be a $10 million jackpot. Here we go again. Try again. Your code has been submitted. Good luck. So that means this is a loser. It did not win any cash back, but it's, it's entered into a second chance drawing. So couch, that seat, are losers. This could be $10 million freaking winners. Here we go. Let's get through these now. Ah, loser. Loser. Not good odds so far. Oh, yes. Another winner. It won't allow it, so it's a winner. Ah, oh, loser. An error occurred. What's that about? Oh, yes. It's a winner. Dude, that one gave a weird message before giving the standard error message. It gave, like, an error message I'd never seen. This could be the $10 million jackpot. I'm really feeling powerful on this one. I'm feeling extra vibes emitting from it. It's exuding sparks and freaking crazy... Two weren't stuck together yet. Alright, here we go. Try again. Ah, loser. Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't throw two over there, or else I'll never go back to them again. Yep, it's a winner. Another loser. I expect at least, you know, 11 or 12 winners when the cash odds was one in every two point something winner. Winner. Dang, just trying to find it. Scan ticket. Oh, it's maybe interference with too much positive fives on this one, huh? Okay. The heck's up with this one? It's like bouncing off the barcode. I don't know what's happened with that one. Put it aside. It's been submitted. That's <laughs> it's too huge for it to fucking even read the barcode. It could be the winner. Could be the freaking 10 mil. No other ones are having that kind of problem. We'll see. That's three losers in a row. That's $90 killed right there. Winner. At least $30 back. By the way, yeah, lowest that you could win on these is your money back, so 30 bucks. Another winner. There's two in a row on winners off of this roll. Loser. Oh, that was quick. This is like, it knew instantly that it's a freaking winner. Can't go into the second chance drawing. Ah, oh, loser. Going in the second chance drawing. Going in the second chance drawing. Winner. Could be 10 million. Ah, uh, going in the second chance drawing. Going in the second chance run. <sighs> Winner. Loser. Loser. Okay, let's try this again. What's happening with this thing? It's like goes weird off into the corner of it. Oh, I accepted it. 
And so, all right, so these are all the losers, right? And I will like scratch a couple of them just to verify that the system wasn't malfunctioning, that they are indeed losers and that there was no winners. I will like double check a couple of them. I'll even scan them sometimes at the stores machines to make sure they were losers or I'll run them through here again sometimes, whatever. But it is, it is never been proven wrong. It's always been reliable. So here's the winners. How many of the 30 were winners? Well, I mean, we already saw that the submissions were, uh, submissions are now 90, 90 of the 500 for, for August have been submitted. So what were we at, 71? So 19, so there's 19 losers, 19 losers and 11 winners, which is right in line of, of the odds that we knew we were gonna get when it says one in every 2.62 is a cash prize. So we were expected to get 10, 11, or 12 winners. And here they are, we have 11 winners. And now we're gonna meditate on these for another day or two. Hit up the jacuzzi down there. It looks like our own private jacuzzi because all the mindless sheep are actually following the hours. But we, this is Vegas 24 seven. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll hit up that jacuzzi and freaking sweat out any lingering negative vibe that somehow comes into our system from brainwashing media bullshit. We're just gonna freaking exude positive vibes and thinking and manifest positive thoughts into the reality and create the $10 million jackpot on one of these 11 tickets because there's one more remaining jackpot. This is like Willy Wonka and the golden ticket out there. There's one more out there. The end game prize is available says there's one more available and this game was stopped from retailers in June. And I've been sitting on this brick since January 2nd. So, all right, we got 11 more. It's guaranteed to be $330 because the lowest prize back is your money back, 30. So for the most negative thinker and failure loser at life that just like mindless zombie walks around and just following rules and, and doesn't really think for himself and, the, and you know they're not, they aren't shooting for the stars type of stuff, they're getting 330 back. But Dollar Scholar, you can guarantee that when we scratch these, we are gonna win minimum 500, 600, which is a big thing. That's doubling you know, the odds that the California lottery dishes out to people. But we're gonna go for the 10 million. It's, it's, we're gonna at least get half our money back. So it's, you know, people think, oh, whoa, 900, that's such a huge investment. You just lost 900, no you always get some of your money back. In this case, you're guaranteed to get at least 33% of your money back. But Dollar Scholar is gonna get at least five, get at least 50% of his money back. But uh, hey, there's one jackpot available still, and I've been manifesting positive thoughts for eight months, meditating on this, so there's a good chance that we have the $10 million jackpot here. And for the first time ever, we're gonna document the unveiling of a jackpot on video. So even the 19 losers, they've served their purpose because they've been entered into the second chance drawing and it could produce $50,000. But on top of that, this is now 19 times 30. So this is like $600 of losses, right? So next February, March, April, I'll sell these on eBay along with a hundred thousand dollars of other losses not my losses but i'll pick up i'll pick up losing sports betting tickets horse racing tickets uh from the sports books i pick them up off the tables you know people throw them and they leave them because they lost i'll pick up losing scratchers from the arco trash can and cvs trash can i just freaking throw them in grocery bags and everything stack them all up count all the losses you throw this stuff on ebay and people buy this losers on pennies on the dollar, but it's freaking, you throw up $100,000 of gambling losses on eBay, and people will pay $200, $300, $500 because they need them to write off their winnings. They won a big prize that year, uh, or they, they inherited a large sum of money, and they could write it off with gambling losses. So uh, that's Dollar Scholar, money-making tip number 3,422,000 something something. I've, I've lost track how many money-making tips I've given you now. But that's another one. Like you should always, whenever you go to the grocery store or the gas station, grab all the scratches out of the trash can. I'm not saying dig through the trash can, but the ones on the surface, kind of like the Seinfeld episode where George sees the donut on the top, like this top cylinder of the trash can, and he takes the donut out and eats it. I'm not advocating eating food out of the trash can, but it's kind of like that for all you Seinfeld fans out there. You know, it's, you're not, you're not going to get, I'm a germaphobe too, man. I'll still freaking take scratchers and lottery tickets out of the trash can 
and then just wipe my fingers on my shirt or whatever. So it's not a big deal. But that's a money making tip for you. The 19 losers has multiple purposes. So that $900 I spent was well, well worth it, especially for the video, for the adventure, for the excitement, for the intrigue, the experiment, and the 11. Damn, I know it. We're going to at least defy the odds and double what the odds say we're going to get. We're going to at least get 500, 600, but it's very, very likely we'll get a couple thousand dollars out of this. And it's, it's, it's possible. We're going to get the 10 million. Totally believe in it since we've been uh, Sean Don here. Let me see this. He's been, man He's been meditating on it too. This is my cousin and fellow entrepreneur and positive thinker to the max and Trump MAGA supporter. We believe, man. We know. We're not freaking fooled by all these fake ass polls out there, man. It's so, it's so hilarious. So coming up next will be a video about the experiment on all the Trump bumper stickers. We couldn't get rid of them to Trump supporters. But all the Hillary Clinton bumper stickers, where are they? They're gone. Thousands gone. We handed them out to Hillary supporters. They wanted them. But pollsters will never get an accurate answer anymore from Trump supporters because of how the media has just been like going 24-7 extreme like Trump's attacking soldiers' family and Trump literally believes Obama's the founder of ISIS. And no, 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 no. And no, Trump did not freaking tell gun owners to kill Hillary Clinton. None of that's true. But 24-7 relentless attacks by the media now has Trump supporters embarrassed to freaking tell a pollster who's part of the establishment, who is seen as a professional part of, you know, freaking the whole system in the media. They're afraid to tell them the truth. So any of you believe in polls out there, it's ridiculous. The primary polls were accurate. Because the media has now stepped up their game since the DNC and Trump winning the freaking Trump's been and winning the polls since then. Now the media has stepped up their game and freaking done 24/7 attacks on Trump. And now all of a sudden, people are afraid to freaking tell folks the truth. So you'll see. We're gonna talk about this this video coming up next. Or with the 19 losing scratchers, you don't need to save them and sell them on eBay at tax time next year and get you know pennies on the dollar. This is $600 of losses. If you're a bad person and you're a liar, dishonest, and all that, you could probably, most likely, you could easily fool so many people and say, hey, I bought all these, they're unused, I never, I've been, you know, I've been saving them for gifts or something for family members, but you know what, I really need the money, my car broke down, things like that. And dude, no one will fucking think that you've already, you know, you, they will not know that you know they're losers. Like, no one is so observant to know that if that barcode's like that, it means, you know, they've been checked. So, you could totally fool people. And that, that, that's, a, that's another dollar charm money made tip that I don't endorse, that I don't need, that I don't care about. That's bad karma. That's negative, man. That's, that's not positive thinking, positive vibes. But, you know, I do bring all options to the table as a dollar scholar. So, so for all the people that are desperate out there, Hey man, sometimes when you're back into the corner and you're at rock bottom, that's an awesome Eminem song, by the way. Freak, it just shows such emotion and desperation. And sometimes you can't hate on people when they're back in the corner. So, for all you desperate people out there that, that are following the Dollar Scholar Money Making Tips, that's a way for you to do. Buy some scratchers, scratch the codes, catch the winners, sell the losers for full value or whatever. Just say, hey, I paid 30, I'll sell it for 20. There you go. So Sean Don there said the best idea. Where should we put the winning scratchers to finish the manifestation of reality? And that is in the safe. There's the light. So we're going to put the scratchers that have won. We know they have won. We're going to put them in the safe. And that's going to be a symbolic gesture of, dude, you got to protect $10 million. And so we're going to put in the safe and the best number ever, which is, hold up, clear, 38, 38, that's triple prosperity. Yeah, you know my code, but you don't know where I'm at at DM. And by the time you see this video, we are already moved on to that penthouse suite. Manifestation is completing with the scratchers in the safe. We'll sleep on it. We'll dream about it. We'll, we'll visualize the positive thoughts and vibes. And then we will resume the recording tomorrow and we'll see what it paid off. At least 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, a couple thousand bucks, 5,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks. Could be 50,000 bucks. Uh, but it's, it's really likely that 
that we will uh, we will be the ones with the ten million dollar jackpot. So that's Dollar Scholar thinking for you. That's what you, that's what you got to do to be successful. So believe in yourself and believe in manifestation, and it'll come about. It's simple, that. But so many people think so stupid and think so small and think so negatively, yep. and they wonder why they're on welfare or they are just slaves to the Democratic Party and moving around like robots, having to go to work nine to five, collect a paycheck on Friday and then spend it all on bills and you got no money left. No, that's not the way. You gotta be dreaming big, thinking big, buying lottery tickets, at least just $5 a week and freaking visualize and manifest the thoughts into reality. There you go, boom. And that is the absolute power that the commissioner has to Just to show you how serious we are about the manifestation process and how we, how strong our conviction is that that is what will make you reach the success that you're envisioning. It's not just all you fucking haters that are going to say, oh, yeah, you won because you won anyways. It didn't matter if you waited or not. No, that's not true. We actually created it and made it happen. But anyways, these 19 losers, like today was the absolute deadline. 19 losers and the 11 winners. Like the fucking stack of 30 had to be scanned today to be entered into the second chance drawing. Today was the freaking deadline. So I wanted to bust this, this stack open today. So we, we waited the full manifestation period. To the very last 20 minutes of the final day, 